Now, with President Biden dropping out of the campaign, the first sitting president to do so in 56 years, the Democratic Party is now in reset mode. Uh, Vice President Kamala Harris is the odds-on pick to lead the party and take on Donald Trump. Just moments ago, Harris made her first public appearance since yesterday's announcement at the White House. Uh, she welcomed NCAA champs from several schools across the country. ABC's Christiane Cordero joining us live from the White House with more. Christiane. Hey there, good afternoon. So President Biden spent weeks defending his spot on the ballot, right? Repeatedly saying that he's in it to win it, that he's the best candidate to beat Donald Trump, that only the Lord Almighty could get him to drop out. Well, in the end, it wasn't divine intervention, but diminishing support from within his own party. Vice President Kamala Harris is now the one to beat for the Democratic nomination, buoyed by President Biden's endorsement. The vice president at the White House this morning at an event on the South Lawn celebrating NCAA championship Greetings, teams. Everyone. Joe Biden's legacy of accomplishment over the past three years is unmatched in modern history. In one term, he has already surpassed the legacy of most presidents who have served two terms in office. President Biden taking himself off the ticket yesterday afternoon, writing, It has been the greatest honor of my life to serve as your president. And while it has been my intention to seek re-election, I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term. The president's announcement followed a snowball effect of congressional Democrats calling on Biden to drop out. 40 total, fearing the party would not only lose the presidential election, but also the House and the Senate. Here's Kamala Harris going from number two to number one like that. And it's going to take a real transformation on her part, and she's going to have to perform. Everyone's going to be watching her very closely. And with just 106 days to go before the November election, former President Trump and his running mate, J.D. Vance, spent the weekend campaigning in Michigan, polling the crowd as they are now forced to change course. So who would you like to most run against if you're us, if we want to win? Ready? Kamala Harris. Crooked Joe Biden. Yeah. All right. I don't think we have to go too much further. The Trump campaign has been preparing for this for a week. Uh, uh, Pro-Trump Super PAC MAGA Inc. immediately launched a multi-million dollar ad effort targeting Kamala Harris airing in Pennsylvania, Georgia, and Arizona. We're live at the White House. Christiane Cordero, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.